Oof. Did not think he was going to let me in then. So it's like we're coming into Dortmund Hanover now. And I've got to say, the sense of distance on this journey has been immense. I'm basically coming up to the halfway point and I feel like I've been really trucking in a way that ETS 2 has never really made me feel like. I also feel that the transition from light to dark is a really nice realistic gradual progression And I've got to say that um, I've really quite enjoyed the experience. It's a bit rough around the edges. It needs some work. But that's what early access is all about. And by, by releasing this and showing what else is to come, they've done a really good job of... Uh, I've done a really good job of, uh, of doing that, of roughing out some edges and I've never really, I, well I haven't played it before today, but based on the videos that I've seen, I really wasn't impressed at all. It looked like, uh, it looked like a terrible game, but playing it today, it's not polished by any means. It's very rough around the edges, but... And I hate to say it because uh, I know what the response will be, but the potential of this game is really high. And uh, I'm only going to say that because of the evidence of the development that they've put in. It's looking really nice. I don't know if it's going to get any darker. I don't know what time it is. If I press F1, does it tell me what time it is? No. Maybe time isn't something they've implemented in the game yet. But I, I sure as heck feel like I've driven a significant distance. One thing I will say is when you go and load up your truck, I, I think having the option to get out and have to wait for it to be loaded on would be great. Um, now I know that the majority of truck drivers these days don't actually load anything onto their trucks. Um, there's like a, a loading team at the location that do that. But once it's on the truck they do then organise it. So they have to get out the truck and they have to be involved during that process. I just feel like backing it up, pressing a button and driving off is just missing out on uh, on something that could easily be done in this game. Just have you get out and click a button, maybe. Maybe even something as simple as that, but yeah. Overall, I'm impressed. And the big thing here is being able to get out your truck. That's, that's going to make a huge difference, especially when we've got a massive articulated lorry and uh, a very tight space in which to uh, park or turn or, or whatever that's when this game is going to excel but I've got to say it's not it's not turned me off the game it's a long way from polished but now I'm really, really interested in seeing what else they're going to do. I, I, I'm very intrigued to see what this game's going to be like once it's completed. And the journey between here and there could be a very interesting one. Especially if they are listening to the community, taking on board criticism, criticism and implementing requested changes and 
modifications. That's all you really need from an early access development team. Just to listen to the community and keep bringing out updates with good game improving features. That's that's all you need. This is this is a this is a fairly decent game. This is a decent game. Does need some work, but it is early access. And for like was it thirteen pounds, fourteen pounds? I've played much, much worse games for more money. I'd say that much. It's a bit stuttery. It's not well optimised. Stop indicating. The steering is really nice. Really precise and accurate. I'm all over the shop here because I've got my phone in my hand. Um, yeah. Even the headlights work. And there's so many games where that doesn't happen. Wow. Okay, that was a bit scary. Now we're trapped. Now we're trapped. I'll tell you what else would be cool is if you could start your company off with um, vans rather than trucks and work your way up to trucks. Well, maybe that's the plan. Maybe that's why it's not called on the road truck simulator anymore. Hmm. Had you thought of that? Driving like a complete tool here. I'm enjoying it at the same time. Now, how am I going to squeeze through these guys? Can't go left because mate is there. Have to go right, which means he's going to have to move. Yeah, most definitely one to watch here. I doubt very much that the ETS hardcore community are going to sw switch over to this. And in all fairness, I don't think the ETS hardcore community should switch over to this. I don't think this is uh, complete enough as a game for that to be a realistic change. My sat-nav went off then for a, for a minute. So you're saying middle lane. Stay in the middle lane. Okay. Oh, and there's my first collision. can see it's a bit stuttery we're down to like 10 15 fps at the moment but i haven't changed any of the settings um and uh yeah i mean it's 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 all right you know it's all right i suppose still that's it from me guys um, how far am I how far away am I from my final destination absolutely miles away so I'm gonna save it there and say thank you so much for watching I hope if you're not already playing this game then maybe it's uh, one that you were contemplating getting just keep your eyes open for it and uh, listen to the updates I think it's probably worth a watch but we'll see how things go thanks for watching take care till next time goodbye
But there was a pretty darn scary moment just then when uh, the motorway just completely ended. <laughs> and everybody just got jammed in here, like this. Literally, motorway, 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 no notice. Road shut off. Everybody filter down this tiny little road. <laughs> Well, that was fun and interesting. So we're actually almost at our delivery location. You can see it's pretty much night time now. I don't foresee it getting any darker than this. Um, and unless the moon plays a significant part in how bright the uh, nighttime game experience is, then uh, I think this is as dark as it's ever going to get. We're going to have a collision here. Yep, there we go. Not too bad. I really should have checked how long this uh, delivery was because <laughs> A, I didn't really have the time to do this today. Is that our delivery there? I think that's it, guys. This will be our first ever delivery in on the road. I wasn't sure if I was going to actually see it through to the end, but I'm kind of glad I did. I definitely feel like I've been driving a truck for the last hour or hour and a half or whatever. Certainly has that feel about it. These mirrors are wonderful. I'm sure those yellow arrows are helping a lot. There's a serious dead zone on everything as well that I'd like to turn off. But overall, not bad. So, assignment summary. One of one. Distance, zero miles. That seems fair. Price, 21,481. Reputation, 2,148. 10%. Yeah, no damage. Well, I don't know if that's been implemented because we did have a bit of an accident. But uh, that's pretty darned cool, guys pretty darn cool now I don't know if you have to sleep or whether you get tired well certainly you don't leave the vehicle in reverse but uh, yeah that's that's quite an interesting little game I don't think it's worth putting a series together or anything in it on it yet but maybe in the future. We'll see how development goes. And this bit here, this for me. If I just turn my controller back on. That's the absolute clincher. That's the bit I like so much. Is the ability to get out. And I really hope they make full use of the ability to get out of your truck. I mean obviously you have to get out of your truck, walk around to the fuel to fill it up. And that I really like. But also, I think once you've filled it up, maybe you have to go, you know, go to the gas station attendant and pay. That would be great as well. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. This, is, uh, this has been fun. And uh, hopefully we'll do it again sometime. Take care of yourselves. Till next time. Goodbye. <laughs>